there's a lot of money that overhangs the, the, the marketplace. Now that's positive. All of that money, however, or most of that money, needs some level of debt to oil the, oil the wheels. But the, uh, the fear factor, as you can imagine, is will prices be cheaper tomorrow than they are today? So if I wait by you know, standing on the sidelines, will I be able to get a better deal tomorrow? And there is a certain amount of logic in that, in that argument. Um, one of the things we've certainly seen so far this year is you know, the movement of prices in most of the, most of the markets moving, moving outwards, so things becoming cheaper. Um, everyone's heard about sort of central London moving out by about you know, 30% down in price. Um, and prices are still still moving. So we would certainly anticipate that we will start to see you know, the beginnings of fair value in a number of marketplaces as we turn into 2009. The key issue is, you know, will we see some freeing up of the space on the balance sheets and the lending books of the banks? Um, and one could, one could look at that in many, many different ways, but I think one scenario which you know, a, a number of people will probably buy into is that when you wait for a whole year, um, they might well be prepared to take some level of pain on the assets in, the, in their balance sheets and on their lending books in a whole year, when by freeing up that space, they can then participate in some new opportunities as the markets you know, go down to new pricing levels. So that, I think, is one scenario out there. <clears throat> the other thing, really, is that for what we would call core real estate, as it reach, uh, reaches a fair, fair pricing level, it's a great opportunity for the, um, for the equity investors. And indeed, we've seen the evidence of that to date in a number of the big cities from the German Open Ended Fund. So I think that most of those would say, we will have liquidity and we will have money to spend into 2009. Just in that short term, I think there's going to be a break on, purely because of you know, what is able to be, uh, be lent.